Hi everyone. I know it's been a long time since I've done a video, but I thought I would do one today. It's the full moon this weekend. So, let me, I've pulled some cards, but I just want to talk about the energy. Have you been feeling it lately? Have you been feeling this intense shifting that's been going on? It's been pretty intense. Um, I've had sciatica, as many of you know, and I thank you all very much for the um, offers of help and advice and sending me healing. I really, really appreciate that. I still have sciatica, but I'm working through it. Luckily for me, I have a high pain threshold, so I am able to drive and do things still. In fact, sometimes it's better when I'm moving around a little bit. So I really appreciate all the help that you have given me. I really do. And, oh, I'm just going to let Lily in because she now wants to come in. Come on, Lily. Come on. She loves it in, in my healing room with me. Uh, yeah, so this frequency, this energy that's been around us, that's still coming to the planet, big shifts going on for many, many people. Like myself, you might be having... Um, so, ailments of some form popping up it could be old stuff coming up through or it could be just your body adjusting to the new frequency of the earth whatever it is for you please be gentle with yourself be kind to yourself wrap yourself in love this is what I've got my my heart scarf on today to wrap myself in love, remembering that actually everything has a frequency. And if you wear things that represent love or hearts, for instance, and you feel that within, then you will be receiving that at the same time. So today for me, probably like many of you, I've got quite a lot of head pressure going on. So I know that there's uh, adjustments going on. I often feel that when I've got something going on personally for myself, on my physical side or emotional side, I know for a fact, for me personally, that's I'm going through a shift. So when I go through a shift, and this might resonate with many of you, when I go through a shift, uh, it can come out in a physical form, emotional. That's another thing I've been over the last couple of weeks is actually quite emotional about different things, certainly about the earth and nature. And being becoming a lot more aware of how we treat the planet and stuff like that has been coming to the forefront for me. And I think it's ever since I met, again I want to say, because I'm sure I met them, I've met them several times before, certainly when I was a child. But since I met uh, again these beautiful nature, multidimensional nature beings that are here living amongst us in nature... Very, very shy they are. Um, and I met them again a few weeks back. And it was an absolutely amazing experience. And it's really opened my heart more fully and given me a much deeper connection with the earth. And it's so deep, I can't actually explain it. So there's huge shifts going on for, for many, many people. So just just remember that when you're sensing any of these things or you're feeling a bit emotional or you feel anxiety, that's another thing that people are getting anxious or wound up about things. Remember, actually bring it back into yourself. You're actually going through a shift, even if someone else. Someone else's behavior is making you react within about something. It means you're shifting inside. And if you can become aware of that, it will help you through the shift a lot easier than just reacting to whatever it is that somebody else may be doing or behaving like. As we're all human, it can be quite difficult at times, but it's always best to take a breath and remember that actually all these things are coming up our own personal reactions to things are coming up for us to release it, to let it go. And we, it, we don't even need, need to know what it is that might be triggering us deep inside. It could be something from our childhood. It could be something from past lives. 
Um, it could be anything. So just allow this feeling when you're triggered to pop up and just feel into yourself about it and think, well, why am I feeling that? Why am I being triggered by that? We are all shifting. We are all evolving. And the easier and kinder you can be to yourself and go through this shift, the better for you. And of course, the better for whoever you are living with or, or your family or friends even. So for the full moon, which is this weekend, um, I have put this out or I'm putting this out. We're feeling these energies. They're pretty strong at the moment. And I've pulled some cards for us all for this full moon. And it's quite interesting, really, because the first card out is the Page of Wands. Now, the Page of Wands means travel. It means um, the spiritual student. And I'm just going to hold them because the light's a bit funny in here. Uh, yeah, the spiritual student. Travelling. Getting back to who you really are. Going within. And it's not just journeying on the outside in the physical. It's actually journeying within. Going within and finding yourself. Finding your soul self. Finding your spiritual intuitive skills that you have. Everyone is individual and everyone has their own way of doing things and tapping into their own intuition. And, you know, there are several, several, several different ways. It could be something simple like just feeling what someone else is feeling or tapping into someone else's feelings and knowing that they're feeling down or sad or anything like that. It can be that you get an image in your mind come up, a, a, almost like a video playing in your mind about something or a thought that pops in or even feelings in the body about things. So we're all opening up and I mean everybody and it, many people are struggling with this because it's alien to them. When they've been uh, programmed to follow and do you know the nine to five job and do this and do that and this is how you live and and all those things when their own soul intuition starts to come up and starts to kick in it can be a struggle for many many people that have got that analytical mind that that pattern of this is how they live and this is it and it can be quite strange when random things pop up for people and they just don't know how to deal with it so again i want to go back to nurturing the self come back to yourself and just go within spend time sitting even if you can't meditate that doesn't matter just spend time sitting going within Feel into your own body, feel into your own self and you will go deeper and deeper to the point where you will open up your own multidimensional doorways within and tra you'll start travelling within your consciousness. And honestly, it's a vast, vast, wonderful, wonderful world that you can actually tap into within yourself using your heart resonance, your consciousness and connecting the two so you can go traveling with your consciousness and your light body. So the next card out after that is the magician that and then that reinforces what I've just said. That actually means all of your intuitive skills are opening up. You all have them. Everybody can be a healer. Everybody can tap into the spirit world. Everybody can tap into the multidimensions. All of humanity can do this. It's not just special people. Everybody can. And everybody is waking up to this, to their own intuitive skills. And it needs to happen because this is where we need to live from as, as we're going into the future. Our own intuition and the next card out is there's news coming, but this news is 
news about love. It can be about relationships. It can be about family. It can be about... Um, it, it, it's a higher vibration. It's, it's even, I want to take it further and I want to say that actually it's news from your soul. And this is all about self-love, self-realization, self-love coming in and your guides. But it's going to come in very, very quickly. So it's going to come in in a surprising way, but it is all to do with love. So you might hear news about family members, um, good news, I want to say, and you you may hear about babies being born or beautiful stories that pop up, or uh, but it's all about love stuff. And if you can keep yourself as well in that high vibration of love, um, wrap yourself, if you've got a scarf with hearts on or if you've got something with hearts on, or just feel it within. That's it's simple. Just breathe in that unconditional love that's in the quantum field all around us. Tap into that and breathe that in. It's actually going to create, the more you can keep your frequency up, it's going to create lots of new exciting opportunities coming in for everyone. This is random stuff as well. This is stuff that you don't, you're not expecting. Um, Lots of different, lots and lots of different um, opportunities, many different types as well. It can be anything from uh, something to do with work or a new form of work pops up or hobbies, that your hobbies actually, you start really getting into your hobbies and getting your creative side on. It can be random opportunities to go and speak somewhere or or to go and do something new, to do something exciting, uh, uh, exciting, a holiday or absolutely anything. So lots and lots of new different types of random opportunities coming in. And even if at the time something comes in and you think, oh, no, I don't know whether I can do that, da, 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 da. Actually, it's coming in for a reason. One of my philosophies is if someone asks me to do something um, which is going to take me out of my comfort zone a little bit, then it's my guide's way of telling me I'm ready to do it. So step forward and go for it when these opportunities come. Don't push them, but go with the flow and when they come, take action steps. So the last card out for over this full moon period is the Hanged Man. Now the Hanged Man is a wonderful card. It means... Uh, and I bet many of you have been feeling this, that it's almost like we've gone through a period of time where we've, we've been hanging around, we've been waiting for things to happen, waiting for things to take place, waiting for, um, you know, new opportunities to come. Well, the hanged man means that actually after a period of waiting and working on yourself and releasing all this stuff, that things are finally going to turn around for you and life is going to move forward in a positive, wonderful way. So really, really good cards for this full moon. Keep your frequency high. Um, feel, just feel the love that's emanating from me to you all because I feel I am, I am connected and I know that you all too, you are all too connected to the eternal love that's in the universe. And uh, I just wish that you could feel how I feel at the moment for you all. Because you know what? We are all connected. And love is just the most beautiful highest frequency that you can hold within. And it's such a beautiful feeling to feel the the frequency actually running through your entire body into every single cell and it is wonderful so i hope and wish with all my heart that you feel this love and it's it's actually all around us and it's just pouring into us it doesn't even have to be from another person just tap into it just tap into those love vibes 
because they are there and it will keep your frequency up. Feel that excitement within your heart of the wonderful things that are to unfold for us all because there's some magic coming. So I hope you have an awesome weekend. Um, have a beautiful, wonderful full moon celebrations. Uh, write down a list or do a vision board or whatever it is. Just even think about what you would like for your future, of what you would like for these beautiful opportunities that are going to come for you, for us all. And just go with the flow. Go with the flow of life. And know that you are so, so loved on such a deep level. Far more than you will ever know until one day when you actually realise it. We are connected to so many wonderful, loving beings. And just feel into that and allow them to come in and help you. Allow their love to surround you and encompass you. And I will just finish off with a, I feel like I'm guided to do some light love coded language for you all. And I hope you enjoy. So just sit or listen wherever you are and just close your eyes and feel into the frequency and the vibration of what is just about to come to you. If you, I'll just say this before I go, if you would like to know more about what I do, please go to my website. It's uh, ginnyjoneshealing.com. So www.ginnyjoneshealing.com. And you'll find me on Facebook, of course, and I also have a public Facebook page as well, which you can come along and like if you like. And um, just know and just feel this connection. Feel it deeply. Feel it within your soul. Kea toro mai te ayano toya. Yaro toro moia te kesini. Yato urumo yare yara kira maitera noya la kurumo raite yeturumo yaro yamuro dia kena isinu yana pirani kuruna yene ramaye yaturo do yara malguru la te yana moyona. Kutu ya senera ma yati kera moya yara miatero uturo ma yenarina kiti kura ma itera yeturo mo yenaitari kera yeturo kishina ma dete kera ti ekuro ma itari ekuro la ma diti etira yete oshone kera ma itera ina. Orudu e marea ke rati ato, he ko dorumai a tayeta, horima, hotira me a koro, e tisina tira maya. Kuruku kuro e tia a kai kai e tira mai tara kia. O te senaro, koroma rietari, koroma e sera e tiro, koroma e oturo, a mare te a kare. Akura, kura mora, ya uru moyana, kero mora dianari, kera tero moyara dia, kusunora mayanara, ya tayanura. Ya motoya ri amora ina ke turumaina feel the resonance of 
the frequency that has just been downloaded to you. It will go within your DNA. It will activate you on a soul level. Feel the love. Feel the expansion. Feel how powerful you are as a human being in this life. There is much more to you than you realise. Go with love and peace. Enjoy. And if you are able to, go and stand under the full moon. Put your feet on the grass. And soak in that beautiful, beautiful energy. Much love. Take care. Bye.